Welcome to the on-track section of this DVD, where after many years' speculation and much media hype, the day has finally come when I get the chance to drive BMW's most eagerly awaited Super Coupe, the M6. The question was, what to test it against? And after we took into account performance, prestige, practicality, cost and comfort, we decided it was ready to be pitched against no lesser contender than the legendary Porsche 911. The current 6 Series, already an impressive car, has been enhanced by the engineers at BMW's M division to create the pinnacle of the brand and a potential future classic. Boasting the same naturally aspirated 5-litre V10 engine as that in the M5, which produces 507 horsepower, 520 newton metres of torque and blistering performance figures, the M6 looks likely to give the Porsche a good run for its money. However, Porsche have considerable experience when it comes to engineering performance coupes gained over four decades, and their latest 911 Carrera S ranks up there with the best of them. From their renowned six-cylinder 3.8-litre engine, the 911 produces an impressive 355 horsepower and 400 newton metres of torque, making it a very tough competitor for the M6 to beat today. So those are the hard facts, but it's time to put theory into practice. Right, time to see how the M6 compares against the nimble 911 in these really tricky conditions. But instead of just turning traction control off with the M6, I press the M button and all my ideal preferred settings light up. The rev counter is now in the head-up display along with the gear I'm in and the speed I'm doing. I'm in manual shift mode and my preferred setting which it's switched automatically to is the MDM, the dynamic traction control mode which is part traction but it part lets you have the control it lets you have a little bit of opposite lock and fun before it realizes you're running out of talent and comes in to save you oh full power down to this hairpin now this is where the 911 was slightly stymied again i can feel the abs chattering away as we try to get the speed off and there that's a trend oh now then that's where the traction control on the way out took a lot of the power away from me as we head into Douglas Mountjoy. Again, a little bit of understeer, very similar to the Porsche. The handling characteristics are very like that. Right up almost to the red, 103 miles an hour, which is quicker than I saw in the Porsche. So certainly the power down the straight is telling. A little bit of oversteer again, the dynamic mode saves me from any big embarrassment. Bit of understeer and then hardly any oversteer as the throttle's held away from me. So I reckon uh, for a really quick lap, it's time for me to maybe switch all the traction off, and let's just see what this chassis can do when it's fully unleashed. It's gonna be interesting with a lap time I can get anywhere near it. The Porsche obviously a lot lighter, and it's got those competition brakes, but we are going faster down the straight. The Rev counter flashing green at me as I head towards the rev limiter. But there's the, see a bit more sideways now. I haven't got the dynamic mode helping me out. But hopefully I can just as a racing driver feed in a little bit more power than the dynamic mode would allow. But the main thing is the fact that this is a big grand touring coupe, it virtually feels the same as the 911. Oh, oh. Now, can I finish a neat lap? No, 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 two sideways, two sideways, Tim. <laughs> but so controllable. Oh, brilliant. So both cars have performed incredibly well in a variety of conditions, but the results were perhaps closer than anyone expected. In the acceleration test, the more powerful M6 beat the lightweight Porsche to the line. In the slalom, however, the nimble 911 demonstrated its race-bred heritage through the cones, but the larger M6 also gave an outstanding performance. As expected in the braking contest, the Porsche's non-standard ceramic braking system provided the edge over the impressive M6. 
Finally, as the all-revealing handling lap demonstrated, even in these atrocious conditions, both cars performed like true thoroughbreds. And it's a real credit to the M6 that it was only beaten by just over a second. So BMW's striking new M6 has run the legendary race-bred Porsche 911 amazingly close and that's created a new benchmark that combines GT luxury with everyday practicality and supercar performance.